What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Toby here once again for Racing Games and if you remember we recently made a video on Formula E and the games in which you can play it, well here's the video that goes over the reasons why we think it should have its own official game. Now the 2021 Formula E season was a dramatic roller coaster full of outstanding racing and physicality not seen since the height of the British Touring Car Championship. Despite the opening round of the season in Chile being postponed, Formula E has put together a great calendar and even showed that overtaking was possible around Monaco. So, with all this outstanding racing and, if you ask me, phenomenal circuits, why hasn't someone made a standalone game for it? Let's give our reasons why we think it's time for someone to make that game. First of all, it's the state of Formula E gaming at the moment. Now, it's not that hard to jump into a Formula E car in the virtual world, even though the series doesn't have its own console game. There is a Formula E DLC pack for the awesome R Factor 2 that features the Gen 2 cars. You can jump into the electric cars in Forza Motorsport 7, which is still available on Xbox Game Pass. Motorsport Manager Online even includes it, as well as, as you saw in our other video, Real Racing 3. However, nowhere can you start a Formula E career and take on the tricky circuits or battery management and drive your way to a championship win. While the F1 2021 game was the highest selling title in the UK for much of last year, fans that want to take on Antonio Felix da Costa, Sam Bird and Nick de Vries are just unable to do so. So then, who are the likely candidates to take the Formula E game to the next level? British racing developers Codemasters are picking up licenses and going from strength to strength. With the addition of Formula 2 to the F1 games being a huge success, they could certainly pick up the Formula E license and create a standalone game for it. How that might interfere with their F1 agreement, who knows, but Cody's would certainly be the frontrunners to create a big Formula E game, especially after this big EA acquisition. Another option is KT Racing. The French studio currently makes the awesome WRC series and TT Isle of Man games. They are not afraid to create realistic and challenging racing titles out of quote unquote lesser licenses. Both companies could make a stellar game and market it directly to their already strong audiences for racing games. As I said, following EA's buyout of Codemasters, they would appear to be in pole position to make a Formula E title for every platform. With features like My Team capable of being carried over to any racing series and a bunch of manufacturers like Audi, Porsche and Nissan in the series, it could do wonders for everyone. However, of course, whoever makes the game would have to learn by doing. Having a standalone game would almost certainly result in the Formula E cars disappearing from other titles. No more inclusion on Forza, no future R-Factor updates. That would potentially limit the audience, initially, especially if the game were to be a full £60 or $70 title. However, having a full championship simulator game would let people learn about the series and all its unique rules and regulations. The series itself is tailor-made for a game. Mechanics such as fan boost and attack mode add wrinkles that gamers are familiar with. Thanks to the next-gen capabilities of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, it could end up being a superb time to enter the gaming world with a standalone game. With the third generation of cars coming in 2022 and manufacturers like Audi, Jaguar, Nissan, Porsche and Mercedes already on board, the time is now to strike a deal and engage the broader gaming world with a standalone game that can champion Formula E and its forward-thinking ethos. So those are the reasons why we think Formula E deserves its own game and who we think could make it. What do you think? Is it time that Formula E had its own title? Let us know down in the comments and the features that you would like to see in that game. I've been Toby for Racing Games and I'll catch you soon here on the Racing Games channel.